I'm here with Jaho Ki from Singapore, from the Fatties, the founder of the Fatties, and this is the first time you've been at Champions Cup. How did it go? Yeah, so far so good. I mean, we didn't uh, win ma any matches, but we managed. Our team managed to score two goals, so that is quite, uh, I guess, historical for us. I think being first time here that means a lot to us. You know, when we first started the club in Singapore four years back, or even when I first started, I was like, oh, it would be a dream to actually form our own team and come to CC. So that came 10 years later for me and four years later for the club. So this is really nice, you know, to have 23 members from Fat Underwater Rugby participate in uh, CC this year in Berlin. Yeah. And what has been easy or difficult? What's, what's happened? How's the team grown during the competition? Yeah, I think... Um, for the men's, I can say for the men's team, um, when we first played against Flipper, it was an uh, eye-opener. We, we have never had that opportunity to play with such a fast, strong, powerful team. You know, but the biggest consolation is, yeah, we, we get to play the, with the top of the league. So that was really nice. Um, then after that, we played against Melmo. Again, you know, it was fast, strong. And then we learned from it because we realized that um, we have, the club has many loopholes, uh, the, the, the team has many loopholes where we play. And then when we played against Piranhas, we felt like, hey, this is time we caught, caught up because we managed to score our first goal. And then it's like, today's game, this morning when we play against uh, Zurich, again, it was a fun game. And we felt like we could do it. I think one thing is we should come back next year to, to try to beat these teams again. Yeah, so lots of, uh, lots of um, learning lessons, a lot of experience that we gained from this tournament. And one thing that I would like to thank is the... The, the clubs that we play against, they have been very kind to share the, the knowledge with us. So that helps us to grow as well. So that was very nice. Yeah. And uh, you're all done now. You've played your last match? No, we still have one more against Firenze. So let's see. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, the fatty women, are you, who's coaching them? Uh, Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser, Kaiser is coaching them. Um, I mean, in Singapore, we don't really have a dedicated coach. So we, we, go, we go along and we grow along with each other's experience. So the club generally is quite a flat club, if you like to say flat and fat. <laughs> so we, we learn on each other's experience. On, and every year, uh, different groups of people go for tournament. They bring it back, we share. But this year, we're really lucky to have Kaisa uh, Engblum in our club. Um, and she will stay with us, uh, I, I don't know, maybe one or two years. So, you know, it's, it's really, really valuable for the ladies at least. Um, and with her in the, in the team this year, uh, you can see that the, the, the women's team is actually quite, in, in my opinion, they are quite impressive. This is their first tournament uh, for some of them. 50% of the girls have never played the, the tournament before. So, I mean, yes, the results show one thing, but I think I, I'm very proud of them. Really, really proud of the girls. Yeah. How, how are things going with uh, China and spreading underwater rugby around Asia? Yeah, I mean, uh, this year we focus a lot more in Singapore. We try to use the word like level up, you know, and then with our experience, hopefully down the road, we can actually help to grow. Um, we are always around in Singapore. We, we welcome the clubs to come to Singapore to learn from us. You know, maybe next year we explore um, a, a more regional growth, maybe, um, because we know in, in Bangkok there was some interest. Um, in Hong Kong, there's some interest. And then perhaps maybe we can do a, a training camp together and then we can invite the clubs to Singapore. Let's see. You know, it's, uh, the, the, the thing about being such a new club is it's like an empty cup whereby we, will just, we, we can do a lot of things, you know. There, it, there, there is no fixed way of doing something. So we have a lot of flexibility to do what we think is best for the region and we just do our best. You can go to Australia to play. You can, yeah. I mean, we, have, we have explored different options. We've been to Australia, we've been to China, we've been to, to Bangkok, you know, all, all different things, you know. Like, so so it's, we are open to our suggestions. And uh, we welcome all clubs to come and join us in Singapore. We have a very nice warm pool. <laughs> and the food is good. Yes, the food is good. We have trainings uh, three times a week, uh, six hours total, uh, Thursday, Saturday, Sundays. So just come and join us. If you're doing a transit in Singapore, come, come, come. And you got your friends uh, like Signe here, uh, you yeah. got to meet up here. Yeah, yeah, I mean like, uh, nice to see Bobby, Signe, uh, Claire from Australia has been to Singapore as well. Uh, Arius is not here. Yeah, and, and also uh, Marius is not here, but uh, in, in Akaran, Fritz, Fritz was uh, in Singapore before as well. So we have a lot of visitors in Singapore and we were always welcome. It's very nice. And the, the one thing that we really want to promote is uh, global underwater rugby. So that's, that's something very important for us. Yeah. And you're on the commission or not? No. Uh, well, what about uh, the World Championship coming up next year? Are you guys going to put together two teams? Uh, that's a difficult question. Um, we are undecided for now. We are undecided for now, but let's see. You know, um, it may not be the most important thing for us right now because 
when, when a club is sustainable, when a club lives forever, we can go for many world championships. But I think what's most important for us is really to have the club last as long as we can. To wake up every weekend, we have underwater rugby to play and that's the most healthy thing for us right now. So world championships, we may, we may not, but definitely the next one. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. And good luck with your last match. Thank you. Uh -huh.